Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Tones. On today's video, I want to show you how to set up a pan delay and a ping pong delay on the FM9. These settings will also work on the Axe FX3. What I want to do very quickly is give you a short little musical example so that you can hear the difference between a panning delay and a ping pong delay over a quick little backing track. Check it out. So the amp that I'm using in the FM9 for that is the Euro Blue. You can see the settings at the moment. I have got the CC boost as the input boost over there. I'm using my go-to Cabinet IR, LT TV Mix 7, and I've got a little bit of tape style preamp modeling going on there. You can see the low and the high cut. London Plate Reverb at the stock settings. This is just the amp, cab, and reverb. This guitar is in drop C and it's got the stock 245 PRS pickup. <laughs> Nice and chewy, Bogner style tone in there. It's really, really easy to set up a pan delay in here. Just drop a delay block anywhere you like. I like it after the amp and cab and navigate to the type drop down menu here. And we'll just select pan delay. I like to turn up the mix a little bit. Let's take it to about 30%. And ta-da, instant panning delay. <laughs> Now, there's a few things that I really like about that at the stock settings. The EQ has a very generous high cut roll off on here with quite a high slope. I normally set up that sort of thing with my lead delays anyway. I find it just helps the delays kind of sit under your main guitar a little bit. And in the modulation section, there is a little bit of sine wave LFO modulation on the delay line. But more importantly, this third LFO here, you can target the pan control on the delay. You can set up different LFO shapes and you can set the rate. I think this one goes, yeah, all the way up to 10 hertz, which is pretty cool. So if you want the delay panning around really fast, turn this up. Or if you want more of a slow pan, turn it down. What's actually happening here is the value of this LFO is being multiplied by the echo pan parameter over here. So you can actually take just about any delay type that you like at stock settings. If it's got this echo pan control, turn it to 100 and then activate pan as the target on the third LFO and you will have a panning delay. I think of a panning delay kind of like a windscreen wiper spreading across the stereo spectrum. Your delay and your echoes, I guess, will come in at the point wherever that windscreen wiper is in its cycle. However, a ping pong delay is a little bit different. I think of a ping pong delay kind of like the indicators on your car. It's always going left, right, on, off. So let's bring up the ping pong type in here. Now, you will notice if you look at the EQ section in here, the EQ settings are a little bit different. So the overall delay tone is going to be different. Same thing with the modulation. So there's no need for this panning LFO here. Let's just have a listen to what the ping pong delay does. <laughs> On the surface, it seems very, very similar, but you notice the very first delay is always panned to one hard side of the stereo spectrum on there. There's no chance that you get that windscreen wiper effect where the windscreen wiper is in the middle and that's where you get your first echo. It's always one hard side and then the next. If I have a much longer delay, the ping and the pong is just gonna take longer. <laughs> Now, 
Now, of course, those EQ settings were different and there were a few other advanced parameters. So it wasn't exactly apples to apples. What I've done though is copied all the advanced parameters from the pan delay here over to the ping pong delay, same mix, same time. And we can hear them side by side now. And again, pay attention to the instance of that first echo. It's gonna be in a different place every time with the pan delay, but it's gonna be the same place every time with the ping pong. <laughs> So the ping pong delay to me is a little bit more aggressive and it's a little bit more predictable because those delays are always panned hard left and hard right versus the panning delay as it sweeps through the stereo spectrum, you can get slightly lower perceived volume. I find it actually kind of sits under the sort of stuff I like to play a little bit more. So I'm slightly more of a pan delay fan, but the ping pong delay is a classic effect and I know lots of people love that one. My absolute favorite though is to take the 2290 delay type. So I've set this one up to be synced to the tempo. So it's a slightly faster delay than what we had before. A lot more feedback, a bit more mix. I am targeting that pan control again with LFO3, a slower rate on there. I have left the EQ at the stock settings and I've left everything except the ducker at stock settings. I've just dialed in a bit of attenuation so that when I'm playing, the delay is quieter. And then when I let go, it absolutely blooms up. Check this out. <laughs> this preset up on Exchange for anyone who wants to try it. Have some fun with these panning and ping pong delays. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. And of course, feel free to let me know your preference. Are you in camp pan delay or camp ping pong delay? Or do you use both at the same time? Let me know and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.